Did you guys ever hear this? Listen to this. Shark cartilage is one of the other therapies offered at Oasis of Hope. Does it offer hope to the patient? Well, listen to this. Uh, vitamin B17, apricot kernel extract, how it works is very well documented. It is being used at Oasis of Hope Cancer Center. And the director of that center is sitting with me right now, Francisco Contreras. Doctor, thank you thank for you coming very in much. and sharing with us. Let me preface all of this by telling you what an honor it is to sit with you. I've known of your work for many, many years. I've been on television probably as long as you and Dad have <laughs> and have never had the pleasure of sitting down with you, but here we are. What you do at Oasis of Hope is different. For example, advanced stage lung disease, two, three, four percent survival rate if I were to go to any hospital here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, but come to Oasis of Hope, which is across the border, and we might expect 25, 30, 35 percent results. Have you ever had the opportunity to go into one of the major hospitals in the U.S.? You and Dad, right? Because your dad was the yes. pioneer in cancer research. God rest his soul. Did, did you ever have the opportunity to visit one of the big cancer centers and present your findings? Yes, we were going to publish our results. Five-year survival rate of uh, more than 30 percent with cancer patients of advanced cancer of the lung. The lung. Now, in all long tumors, it's about a four or five, five-year survival rate. With advanced cancer of the lung, it's only 1% five-year survival. Mm. So here we want to publish a paper where we have uh, a 33, 34% five-year survival rate. Nobody believed it. They did not want it to publish. So they said, we want a peer review, and they set us up to meet the experts in the field from the Sloan, Sloan Kettering in wow. New York. Wow. Big honor. Yep. Yep. And so my father and there go, it's winter, we're freezing <laughs> because we're, we're from a hot land and, and uh, carrying our papers and uh, punctually this about nine or ten doctors arrive and they say, okay, doctor, present your first case. So I set up the first uh, x-ray with a large tumor sure. uh, of the lung and my father explains what we did, the lateral and the shark cartilage and then puts the next one and the, the, the tumor is still there. And, and one of the doctors from the Sonkari immediately says, oh, but that's a failure. Look at this. He puts an x-ray, very similar to ours, with a large tumor. Then the next one, and the tumor is gone. Wow. And, and so my father says, and what happened to the tumor? Oh, the patient's dead. And you see, <laughs> and you see but my, my father said, but my, my patient, five years later, even though he has a tumor, is still alive and enjoying life. Yes, but it's a failure because what we're measuring is what is happening to the tumor. Not so, the patient. Not the patient. Your, your treatment is a failure, and they stood up and left. Thank you. Thank you for saying that, <laughs> because so often I have found that the tumor remains, right? You can feel the little lump in the breast or in the tummy or in the knee, um, but the treatment has been a complete success. Exactly. And so often, in America especially, if that doesn't get erased, surgically excised or taken out, <clears throat> um, then that's failure. I wonder if you could just leave the, I think it's an ascomycete, a sac fungus. You guys have watched the show for many years. Uh, but they say it's a, a tumor animal, something totally different from this ascomycete. But can the patient live with a lump in, have you ever had a cyst, a sebaceous cyst? People live with those all the time. It's how you treat the patient, the, the philosophy is totally different exactly. at Oasis of Hope than it might be at other hospitals. Tell us how it's different and you're using shark cartilage and laetrile diet. Good for you. Uh, the, the reason for this is that since we provide resources for our patients, then the patients can actually come and, and live instead of a parasite relationship with the tumor mm -hmm. in a symbiosis, which means mm -hmm. I, I explain it to them like a good marriage. Yeah. What's a good marriage? You don't bother me, I don't bother you. <laughs> Symbiotic. Yeah. yeah. And, and if you can come to that arrangement biologically with your tumor, we have patients living 25 years after being told that they were going to live a few months. And we take x-rays and they still have the tumor, but they, we were able to arrange the immune system and biologically a, 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 a status that allows that tumor not to grow and not to threat them anymore. Mm. We also have patients that are cured where the tumor is gone. But to us, that is completely secondary. We're not going to be mad if the tumor goes away. Yep. But our aim is not that. Our aim is to provide life with quality over an indefinite period of time. You've seen the phone number, Oasis of Hope. Dr. Contreras was our guest today. Thank you so much. God bless you guys and your Thank work. Thank you. Wonderful work.
Don't go away, my friends. Jot that number down. We'll put it up again before the end of the show. Jot it down. It's that important. I'll be right back with you.